My name is Grace Mosley, and I'm an MD-PhD student at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. I work in the lab of Dr. James Iatridis, where we study how intervertebral disc degeneration, so when the soft tissue between the bones in your spine begins to break down, how that process can lead to chronic low back pain. More specifically, I'm interested in how this process may differ between males and females in both the changes in the spine and the severity of the pain. Chronic low back pain has a huge clinical burden. It's the number one cause of disability globally. And at any one point, 75 to 80% of people will experience low back pain in their life. In our lab, we don't model this in a clinical population. Instead, we use a wrap model of low back pain. And whenever I bring this up, the first question that I'm always asked is, how on earth do you measure pain in a rat? Um, we can't ask them to rate their pain on a scale of 1 to 10. So instead, we use a series of behavioral tests where we measure their response to heat, to cold, and to touch. And we can use that to calculate how severe the animal's pain is after their injury and how much that pain is alleviated after treatment. We can also look at how the structure of the spine itself changes and how those changes in the spine can change what genes are turned on or turned off in the nerves in the body, the spinal cord, and the brain. And with the, the end goal of being able to target those genes with new drugs that could be used in place of opioids for those suffering from low back pain.